Okay, hi everyone. Join me in this video when I photograph one of my favorite galaxy targets, the Sombrero Galaxy. Okay, hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Thank you very much for watching. Um, tonight I'm gonna to be photographing another galaxy. Now I did think I was done for galaxy season. It, we're now in May, it's the 6th of May tonight. Um, so we're coming into some of the good summer targets becoming visible now. So I had thought that I would had shot my last galaxy of the season when I photographed the Black Eye Galaxy um, and M109 but I could not resist trying to photograph the Sombrero Galaxy. Now this is one that I've wanted to photograph for, for some time now, um, but it's just never really been that visible from, from my location. So it's quite low on the horizon in the south and my house gets in the way. Um, but in May, early May, um, or throughout May really, it just about gets high enough um, above the house for a few hours. Um, so I'm gonna try and capture some data on it. Now I will only probably have about three hours max on it tonight. Um, it comes just visible above my neighbor's house about 10 o'clock, so just about when it's getting dark. And then get, goes behind my neighbor's tree on the other side about half past one one o'clock ish so um, by the time it's uh, properly dark and i'm collecting images i might only get about three three and a half hours worth of data so i think i'm going to have to try and catch some more capture some more data on another night um, but i just couldn't resist uh, capturing this target because i've never photographed it before and it's one that i always want to photograph the photos that i see online always look amazing and it's just one of those really striking galaxies so i thought i would give it a go Okay, so the Sombrero Galaxy is an edge-on galaxy in the constellation Virgo, about 31 million light years from Earth. It's quite a small target, so it's not going to appear massive in the frame at 1,000 millimetres, um, but hopefully I'll be able to pick out some of the detail. Now, what makes this galaxy so striking is it has a really it's, as I said, it's an edge-on galaxy, but has a really bright nucleus with a really thick layer of dust cloud layer going through the middle of it. So it really just pops in the frame and just really looks amazing. One of those targets that any image you see it just kind of blows your mind. Um, and one of those I wanted to target and wanted to photograph ever since seeing those Hubble images, those really famous uh, mosaics of the, the galaxy itself. So I'm gonna give it a go tonight and probably over the next couple of nights. Now, as you can probably see, um, my telescope is pointing um, very low on the horizon at the moment and it's still um, not dark enough to, to actually take images so I've got to wait for about an hour before it gets higher in the sky in order to capture some data but I'm going to try and capture five minute exposures this is what I've been doing all the way through um, galaxy season it's been working really well with the 2600 MC Pro so I've been shooting five minute subs um, it's been cooled to minus 10 degrees the camera and I've set the gain to 100. Um, and like I said, I've been getting really good results with that for the Galaxy targets. So I'm going to uh, stick with it and uh, hopefully I'll have a good image to show you at the end of the video. Okay, so I've collected about 20 minutes of data and the ASIR is just about to do the automatic meridian flip. I don't think any of the data I actually captured was usable because unfortunately, so low on the horizon that it's run into those branches, um, causing a couple of diffraction spikes in the, uh, in the stars, so the stars don't look too good. But I just thought I'd let you see the automatic meridian flip. I like to come out here and just check that it's all gone according to plan and that there's no wire snags or anything like that. Um, and then I can usually just leave it to collect data for the rest of the evening. So usually works pretty well with the ASI Air Pro. I've only ever had one issue where it hasn't actually done the automatic meridian flip and that was after i did a software update um but they did release another patch for it and ever since then it has uh, worked absolutely perfectly so there you go you can see it's uh, nearly done just needs to now um plate solve again find the target 
and then it will just carry on collecting images so it will happen completely automatically I don't actually have to come out here and check but I like to just make sure that everything has gone according to plan but yeah you can see just how low on the horizon the target is and as I said before this bush here is just getting in the way but up there somewhere just above that bush is the sombrero galaxy it'll go just over the house and then it'll disappear behind the neighbor's tree about half past one and there you go meridian flip complete all okay so now i can uh, leave it for the rest of the night